Greetings games of the internet, welcome back to another amazing MP4 file And in today's video we're gonna be discussing the amazing British police I apologise for my absolutely amazing singing Just needed to express my favourite part of the song Without being absolutely effed over by the YouTube copyright system Anyway because there's a guy whose only qualification is being a YouTube drama commentator and former Let's Play Phenom. Welcome to the second episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition Speed Build, where today we'll be building a giant cake. I was told there would be cake. Is a lie. I, I don't know why that channel never blew up. I'm clearly qualified to talk about this. But anyway, self deprecation aside, today we're going to be talking about some absolutely insane situation that happened just a couple of days ago in the UK, in which an autistic 16 year old was brutally dragged outside their house by around like five or six or seven <laughs> police officers. I didn't really take note. You'll probably be able to see it in the video anyway when I show it. <laughs> <laughs> But no joke, basically saying that the police officer was gay. <laughs> like genuinely, that's it. The, the girl's like 16 years old, they dragged her outside brutally because she said the officer looked gay. Well, technically, she said she looked lesbian, but uh, it, it's basically the same thing. But anyway, before we actually watch a video, I guess the backstory is sort of relevant and thus I'll discuss it now. Through my amazing intensive research, essentially what happened was West Yorkshire police were contacted back on Monday, which was the 7th of August 2023. I'm recording this on Saturday just for some context. As in that's Saturday because I'm so good at editing videos on time. Because this autistic 16 year old girl was apparently out on the streets drunk in the middle of the night, which you know it is absolutely great parenting. So they drove her away from Leeds City Centre for her own safety and then returned her home. And once she returned home, keep in mind that you know this is a child and a drunk as well, and it's a relatively tame like insult. It's not like she was going around yelling f every five seconds. She reportedly said that the police officer looked like a lesbian, <laughs> like her grandmother. After which she was immediately arrested in a brutal way and yeah you know before i play the video if you're watching on video here's a picture of the police officer and yeah since i'm in the uk i also don't want to get arrested so i'm not going to make any comments i mean i had my phone search once for making fun of someone's music please back when i was in year six all i'll say is that you know uh they definitely look like a pyro cynical <laughs> so um my first question for you mm -hmm. is uh do you remember there was this one youtuber he was really big do you remember leafy is here uh is that the guy who looks like a lesbian? No, 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 that's a different one. Anyway, I'm actually gonna play the video now. And yeah, considering the fact that a child is involved, the identity of a child isn't really that pertinent to the story. And also the fact that the original poster of the video actually deleted it afterwards. I won't play all the video, I'll just play the parts that I think are relevant. And I'll also blur the girl's face out because you know, uh, uh, I'm a very nice person. Also, by the way, just for context, the mother's the one recording this. She's made a comment in her own house. You've got her own camera. She hasn't said anything to you. Don't matter. She's never got matter. She's getting arrested. She's getting arrested. Now, now this police officer is triggered as hell, man. She's literally told that the girl's autistic. I think she starts punching herself like a few seconds later, or we might have already played. And then the woman is there, like, uh, oh, I, I don't care. She's gonna be arrested. And look, look, look at her arm compared to like the male police officer next to her. Uh, his hands are open. Her She's 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 preparing a fist man. She wants to throw hands. Please coming out like yeah. you yeah. yeah. if I get She's autistic. Can you oh, stop staring at her, please? She's got autism. Can you just stand there? She's in a cupboard. She can't go anywhere. She can't go anywhere. Stand there, dear. They're gonna remove her for what? With your your woman? Then she said the word lesbian. Her nana is a lesbian. She's married to a woman. She's not on the phone. I mean, yeah, maybe you can't use autism as an excuse for bloody robbing a bank. But I mean, even if she was being homophobic, firstly, what happened to free speech? Second it's not really that serious third autistic people do sometimes genuinely have issues knowing what is acceptable or not and the fourth she's literally <laughs> drunk as well or at least as far as everyone else knows she is maybe you should focus on the fact that you know it's a bloody drunk teen and i mean yeah you can definitely argue for like social consequences and stuff for people going around and saying slurs every five seconds which probably means i'm getting put on death row tonight but i mean should it really be a crime especially for like the government and public workers like police i mean unless you're making like death threats to them or something i don't think it's so 
supporting like any public servant should be a crime. Maybe just something that gets you called a bitch already, but then again, anything can get you called a bitch already. Look what you clenched in your face. Go away from my teenage daughter. And that officer ran in my house and assaulted me and tried to get to my daughter for no. If you want to make a complaint about any of it, that's fine. I am all, going all to. Will, will have been off. Okay, look, I, I know this is like super off topic, but uh, this is sort of intriguing. I just noticed it now. But why does my guy have a light up crotch? I like, genuinely, I'm so confused. Like, there's no way that a phone is that bright. And there's no way or reason that they should be using a torch because of firstly I can't see one and secondly literally all the lights are on in that house so there's literally a no reason to use a torch but I guess we'll never find out until I convince Harrison Ford to do a Indiana Jones part 6 and yeah at this point the video goes silent and I actually just show her being arrested and dragged away and yeah I'm pretty sure everyone knows my opinions on this situation at this point I, I couldn't imagine arresting some like teenage girl because my ego's hurt but then again I'm a normal person and not a police officer oh wait I just called police not no 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 I mean, the fact that she has, like, skull issues and stuff makes it, like, even worse. And yeah, I ultimately think this is low-key an issue with, like, all countries and institutions, even, like, YouTube itself. Although, to be fair, I think YouTube have been really lenient on me. Apart from one time I was striped for making a 9-11 joke because I actually used photos of the tragedy, which is probably a huge L on my part. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, if you're in any place with hate speech laws, the police, the claimants, or literally, like, anyone can pull like the biggest bs mental gymnastics and can get you like absolutely nuked and arrested for literally the simplest things i genuinely i low-key still remember when i closed my eyes <laughs> she like wiped them when the teacher was talking and then i got a 15 minute detention for quote unquote imitating a blind person and no i'm not lying for like the three people irl who know this channel i'm sure you can verify it to my audience of zero right now anyway as of yesterday this is what the police said about the video after acquitting the girl because uh or obviously. We recognize the significant level of public concern that this incident has generated and we have moved swiftly to fully review the evidence in the criminal investigation which has led to the decision to take no further action without preempting the outcome of an ongoing review of the circumstances by our professional standards director. We would like to reassure people that we will take on board any lessons to be learned from this incident. We do appreciate the understandable sensitivities around incidents involving young people and neurodiversity and we are genuinely committed to developing how we respond to these often very challenging situations. As Yorkshire Police his assistant chief constable also commented that people are only being provided a quote unquote very limited snapshot of the circumstances and that people should quote avoid reaching conclusions solely on the basis of a social media video which i mean yeah fair enough but in what situation would this behavior be justified i mean the police officers in the video didn't deny that what the mother said the girl said was actually what was said so i i don't know am i meant to like celebrate the police or something either way uh, yeah police cringe and that's essentially the end of the video now i do genuinely wonder how like leftists feel about this all because on one hand you know uh, they're against like any ounce of perceived transphobia but then also there's a bunch of them that are a cab as well so do they praise the police for arresting the girl <laughs> or not Join us next time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And my advice is if you do, stop, stop watching stop this video. Watching hey, it's really not helpful. All my social media is in the description. My handle on every social media except X is at Heliophobia. You can find me on X, Threads, Instagram, Twitch, Odyssey, Story 5, and YouTube. And until next time, Cyan Laura bitches. That, that, that's absolutely. FBI, open up!